Hi, so this is my planting job for the Smiths. And the first thing I'm gonna do is take a look at the flag. It says front left window box, 24 inches. And this is my front left window box that's 24 inches. And we don't wanna start planting until we know that everything is in its correct spot at the job. Um, so now I can take the flag out and I can pretty much tell that this is gonna be in the middle because I only have one, as well as this. I only have one of these. So this is back row, and this is front row. So I'm gonna just get started. Yeah, go for it. And we don't plant as deep as we do in the summer because the growing season isn't as long. And also, Sydney, you've already approached this pot, made sure that the soil is really workable. Yes. All the root balls are out. Yes. And the taller plants are my back row. Be sure to dig your hole nice and deep, put them right in his little home and backfill around him. And I like, Sydney, how you're doing that. You're not messing with the soil. You're not, you're just not you know, covering the actual flower with the soil, you're just covering the root ball. So it keeps everything almost perfect as you walk away from it. It doesn't look like we've manhandled it to death. And with our dino kale, he's kind of tilted. So I think because he's tilting this way, growing this way, we're gonna put him in like this. Okay. And, and pull your him. hand away for just a second so we can see all that. So see how it's just like right up around the root ball. It looks perfect. It looks perfect and there's still, it's not too high. We have our pretty trailers for the end. So actually, I'm going to start from the middle and go out. I feel like that's that sounds good. easier. Move my hole, put them right in there, and I move some of the soil around. And the mages are a little bit delicate too, so sometimes those do snap, so just make sure that you're you know, delicate with those, and if you do break one, that you just go ahead and kind of break off the area that's broken and not leave any kind of straggler that's looking dead. So I have a gross leaf that I'm just gonna pop right off before I put him in. Perfect. Again, with the cabbages, their face is find the way it wants to face. We're not gonna put it in like this. Great advice, Sydney. So we're gonna put him in this way so his face is outwards. And we almost a little bit wanna angle him towards the front so you Perfect. can see his pretty center when it turns colors. And this guy will just get deeper and deeper colored as the fall temperatures cool off. And I sometimes, if you don't, if you can't see the back, some of these bigger leaves, I pop off so you can make some space see the for guy. the pepper. Yeah. Good idea. The back. And this is maybe when you might have to actually take a handful of soil out yeah. if you if you feel like you're too crowded, so that um, this is you know those last couple of flowers are the ones that almost have to get backfilled a little bit more. There we go. All right. So now, this is when you got to go back in and refill. I always am sure to go all the way around the plant and make sure that I'm really covering the entire root ball. And of course, moat, moat, moat. And more soil, it's pushing down, so I'm gonna put a little bit more in there. Perfect. But not too much, because you don't want it to barf. That's right. It's a perfect amount of a moat, just a couple inches down so that everything is covered, but yet it's not gonna spill out overflowing. 